friends, welcome back to Sheena's Homestead. If you're new here, I'm Sheena and this is my homestead. On this channel, we try to do our best to make things from scratch, um, eat organic, grow our own food, and take care of the people that we love. So um, on today's episode, we are taking care of the people we love by making them some really yummy food. This style of lunch can feed quite a few people and I have used this method, um, I learned from my mom, uh, many, many times for bridal showers, wedding showers, um, different parties of sorts. And today we're making a lunch for Angelina's volleyball team. Um, they have a really big tournament this weekend and they're gonna be hungry in between games. So I volunteered to make them a healthy and yummy lunch um, that they can pick from. So this is gonna be kind of a charcuterie board style lunch, um, but it's gonna be more than just that because it's actually going to be filling. Um, and we are going to make little sandwiches. Now, the first time I had ever come across a little sandwich like this, um, was at my cousin's baby shower back when I was maybe eight years old and I loved the sandwiches so much and they were so fun and pretty to look at um, that my mom figured out the exact style of how to make them and then she made them for me and my friends so they are still a staple in our family and um, I am going to make them for you today. This is something to put in your back pocket. Um, as long as you have the Hawaiian rolls and some lunch meat, you can do this at any time. And it's pretty quick and it's actually very inexpensive to feed a family party or a um, event such as this pretty inexpensively. So first, let me tell you what I have here in front of me. Um, this is the container that Jacob's communion cake came from, from Costco. Um, I love to save containers. If you have a homestead or a farm, you probably are the same way. <laughs> uh, as, a, as a kid, I always did this too. I thought every single container was really neat and that I could make my own if I kept the container. So today we're gonna put all of the sandwiches that we make on top of here and it will be very easy for me to transport this to Angelina's um, volleyball tournament this weekend. So then let me show you the other one. This is just a classic large serving tray that I found, I think, at a garage sale. I'm pretty sure I paid maybe 50 cents to a dollar for this. Um, but these are the types of trays that are really nice because they're solid. So when you're carrying a whole bunch of fruit or something that you made, you don't want it to twist and then fall and spill your food. So it's really important to invest in something that is thick and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I promise you, you go around to a couple garage sales, you'll probably find something in a sale somewhere that can help you out. And then last but not least, we have this container um, from a round cake. So I can use this in two ways. If I wanted to, I could use it the traditional way that the cake came, or you can flip it upside down. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. I might use it this way to um, put fruit in, like a fruit bowl, and then I can cover it up this way. But in all instances, these are very sturdy containers, and that's what you want when you're transporting food. Okay. So we're gonna begin by using our Hawaiian roll. So just an expert tip here, I always save these little bags that the rolls come in um, because you can use them to package them up and then bring the sandwiches with you anywhere you need to. I usually just stack up the sandwiches the way that the rolls came um, three by four like this uh, right back in that bag and then it's very easy for me to bring it around and I don't need to repackage them in a Ziploc bag and waste more plastic. Okay, now I'm going to move these down just a little bit so we can work with this. Then we take our lunch meat, turkey, and our cheese. Okay, and 
we're going to take our slice of cheese and we're going to cut it into triangles. So we're going to cut diagonally twice. Okay, just like that. And then for our meat, we're going to cut it in half. your Hawaiian roll. You're going to cut two slices right on the top. You see like that. You want to make sure they're deep enough but not too deep that they break apart. And then You take your turkey and you slide it in. So now you're looking like this. Now you can use any cheese you want and you can use um, so my mom's traditional way she makes it is turkey on one and ham on the other side um, and that it's really really delicious that way and then you can put provolone on one side and Swiss on the other or whatever whatever you choose you can use um, this is American cheese and I'm just doing turkey because these are young girls, they're teenagers, and I'm not quite sure if everybody likes ham, so we're making it really easy and just sticking to it, sticking to the, the basics. So then you take a pickle and a toothpick, just like this, and an olive, and you put it right in the top. And then this is your little sandwich. It is so cute. Now, if you were making these for a party, options are endless. You could use toothpicks like this with butterflies, or it's a girl, or it's a boy, whatever, whatever you choose. You can really see how this could be very, very customizable. <laughs>
So like I mentioned earlier, I'm feeding Angelina's volleyball team uh, tomorrow with these sandwiches. I would put a pickle and an olive on each and every one of these if I were serving them to adults. They look pretty and more finished that way. But in this case, I know they'll just get tossed, so we're only gonna put a couple on. them off and toss them anyway. Put the top on those and they are ready to go for the party. So now we're gonna make a little snack board for the girls. Um, I have baby carrots, strawberries, blackberries, grapes, watermelon. I'm not serving this today. I'm serving this tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna wait to cut the watermelon till the morning so you won't see that part. Um, but they're gonna be little slices of watermelon as well. And then we're going to put a little bowl of pretzels out too. I think this will be the perfect touch and give them just the right amount of energy to go on and win their next game. So I'm not going to cut the tops off of these strawberries because I feel like it'll keep them fresher if I don't. And also the girls will be eating mostly with their hands because they will be fresh off of playing and quickly going into their next set. So I think leaving the tops on in this situation is probably the best. I'm just going to snip these into smaller hand grabbable pieces, make it nice and easy. Well friends, there you have it. In a very short amount of time, we made a meal fit for 14 volleyball players age 13. <laughs> and I think they're absolutely going to love it. Uh, we have our fruit spread over here with some carrots to munch on. Um, on game day, I'll probably even put in a couple little cups with some ranch dressing or something like that for them to dip and snack on. Uh, we saved our cake um, plate here <laughs> from Jacob's party and we can easily bring a bowl of pretzels to the gate and then we made our famous little sandwiches which are just so yummy and I promise you this is going to become a family favorite for years to come. Um, this is something, like I said, that my mom always made for us, and it's highly requested. In fact, she just made it for me for my birthday lunch this year. It was absolutely delicious, and I still look forward to it, even though I know how to make them myself. <laughs> it always tastes better when your mom makes it for you. But anyway, I hope that you try this real soon. 
it is a great way to feed a lot of people on a budget and still make them feel very special and very loved, which is always the goal here at Sheena's Homestead. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And if you don't mind, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out quite a lot. And if you don't don't mind, <laughs> share me with a friend. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you next time on Sheena's Homestead. Bye, friends.